Hey everyone, and once again, it's a Publix Eye Outdoors product review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a vinyl harness system uh, that we recently uh, picked up and used on a uh, turkey hunt this year up in the uh, forests of Halsey here in Nebraska. Um, now before I get started with this video, I want you to know that I am not sponsored or uh, get any gear from these companies that I do reviews for. So there's uh, there's no tie-ins with these companies. So I'm that allows me to actually bring up other companies and review other companies and kind of give you a no BS um, review on some of these products that uh, that I have uh, tried. And I have done a review on another Bino system. Uh, harness system uh, that was the Badlands and uh, that was not a bad system uh, however there were some some little minor things that I personally uh, thought that they could uh, do a little better job with so um, and there are some other options out there in those those harness lines of, of the Badlands uh, this is a vinyl harness from Alaska Guy Creations. This company has been around for 40 plus years. This vinyl harness has, has pretty much stayed the same for that amount of time or ever since they started making them. I mean, they've done some tweaks here and there, added some features to them, but the, the, the basic harness itself uh, system has, has stayed the same. Emblem right here. See that? It's made in America, and they're proudly showing that and displaying it here on their harness. Um, the other thing, they've got their logo right here on the back. You can see that. Alaska Guy Creations. Um, so, we'll start with that. Now, this, <clears throat> one of the things that I want to show you here is this... Uh, harness itself is very well constructed it's got a mesh uh, fabric uh, very durable but what this does is it allows you or I should say it allows the harness itself to breathe so it's not uh, a solid fabric on your shoulders which in in hot you know say you're antelope hunting or or early season deer hunting or or whatever uh you'll have a tendency to sweat this allows that to breathe so you're not getting a lot of uh a lot of uh sweating going on in your shoulder area uh the harness itself is is very long in the back and what that uh, what that does is allows it to come around the waist and secure this way instead of this way okay it snugs in, it holds tight to your body, and uh, with this harness on, it's very, a very comfortable harness to wear. Uh, when I had it on, I did not even know that it was there. This particular uh, line is the X50 Classic, and uh, I, they have quite a few different uh, categories in their lineup to choose from as far as size and also colors. This is the Cypher uh, pattern. Um, there are seven different patterns in this lineup in all their uh, uh, vinyl harnesses. So something to keep in mind, you have a lot of camel patterns to choose from with these, with these harnesses. So the, the main thing that uh, that really brought my attention to this harness was the door system and the the uh, bino security. Okay, the door itself just has a little bungee cord here that holds it closed. Okay, and it's just got a little tab here, and you can just lift that up. And it's quiet. I mean, you don't hear anything. You don't have zippers. You don't have magnets smacking and, and, and doing all that. It's just easy bungee cord 
okay? That bungee actually runs into this front pocket, which you have on the, on this, uh, on the front side, which goes into a lot longer, uh, cord in this door, okay? And what that's made for is your binocular, or your, uh, excuse me, your, um, uh, range finder. So you can, you can tie in a range finder to that, to that, uh, bungee strip cord in there. I mentioned you have the pocket here in the front, pretty good size pocket. I mean, it, it will hold a good range finder. Um, a lot of tie-ins to this harness. You've got little, uh, molly loops here. Uh, there are some, uh, mollies here. Uh, on the sides, you have two pockets for uh, whatever you may need pockets for here. Pretty good sized pockets. Um, on the door itself, now this is one of the features that uh, I really think is, is a good uh, part of this, this lineup. This door comes down and shuts all the way around. It is not leave uh, anything exposed. So once you bring that down and you strap it in, that's locked in. There's sides to it. Okay, so nothing's... Uh, with the other harness, I found that I, with those zippers, after a, a course of time, they started to get a little flimsy. Okay, and, and that allowed uh, those zippers to not quite run back and forth like they should. You were constantly having to fight to get the zippers up. And I always brought them from side to side just for the simple fact that I could leave the top open and exposed to grab my binoculars quick. Or I could just pull them down, grab the binoculars and go. Where I hunt in the sand hills, you get a lot of, of, of wind and you get a lot of sand. And before you know it, your binoculars are making crunching sounds when you're trying to adjust your eye, eye reliefs because you've got so much sand up inside those those reliefs and it's actually I've literally broken the the cranks or the eye reliefs on on some of those binoculars a lot of times I don't run with if I'm just storing these I'll have my covers on but when I'm hunting those covers are somewhere else they're not on my because I need them quick on the top you have a couple of little pockets in here. I've got a case on my phone and it actually takes the case and everything comfortably. It, you can slide it all in there and it's nice and tight. You're not gonna have to worry about that cell phone falling out. It's not, you know, something that you have to use, but it's there if you need it and you need quick access to your cell phone. Some guys may be using their cell phones for mapping systems or uh, things like that. So they need quick access to it. It's right there on top. The buckles on this are uh, top of the line buckle. <clears throat> okay. I can't pull those apart. These are like buckles you would find on a very high quality pack. On the back here, you have a, a small door or compartment. Okay. Just a, a just again, that, that light fabric mesh. Uh, you can put... Uh, your license in here. You can put uh, mouth calls in here. Uh, you know, anything like that. That is also there for you. You've got really nice long strap system here. Um, so it's very easy to adjust these to whatever size or length you are. A lot of bigger guys, large guys, tall torso, uh, were able to use these comfortably because they were just uh, so adjustable. So like on the uh, the other set that I had, you had uh, little bungee straps with a silver metal hook or uh, attachment for uh, securing your binos, okay? Uh, not the highest quality, something there just to say that it was on there pretty much. With this system here, you have a very good uh, security system as far as your binoculars. 
I can take these out and just and set them right here. Okay. What this what this amounts to is you have another harness system off of the main main harness, and these lock in to the sides. Uh, they loop through your binoculars here, and they have a clip system. It's a very small but sturdy clip system on these that you can take your binoculars off and actually uh, hand them off if you need to. Now, the other nice thing about this, this little uh, system here is that you can adjust it to your, to your height. So when I bring these up, I am coming right to my eyes comfortably and these actually hold, like keep your binoculars stationary. You're not sitting there trying to hold. It gives a little bit of, of firmness to your binoculars. So they're very sturdy. Uh, price wise on this, it is very reasonable for what you're getting. Um, this harness here was $104. I got this off of online by from Black Ovis. So $104 really is not uh, that far off from a lot of these other companies. Uh, like the Badlands harness that I bought, that was 90 some dollars. And the one with the, the, uh, Magnet in the door was actually a hundred and thirty, maybe hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty dollars. So it was actually more. Quality wise, there's there's no there's no comparison. So anyway, if you get a chance, check out the Alaska Guy Creations. Uh like I said, I have no ties to the company, so I'm I'm kind of free to choose and pick what uh gear I go with. So uh, if you want good reviews, good uh, uh, no BS reviews, uh, this is the this is the channel to come to. I'll give you some pictures here of the different parts of this this system, and you can kind of see the quality uh, built into these these harnesses. So thanks for watching Public Eye Outdoors review here, and stay safe in your hunts, everyone, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you.